after health authorities in the Democratic Republic of Congo and World Health Organization confirmed the first Ebola outbreak early this month. Ugandan authorities have since been on high alert to prevent any possible recurrence of the pandemic. The health screening tet at Impondwe is the busiest on the border between Uganda and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Yes. In Uganda, to pass the Impondwe border crossing point in Kasese, travelers must wash their hands to prevent the spread of the 12th Ebola virus disease outbreak in the DRC. Fortunately, Uganda has not registered any case thanks to the vigilance on its borders. A team from the Minister of Health, led by the State Minister for Primary Health Care, Dr. Joyce Moriko Kaduchu, alongside Dr. Jackson Amone, Commissioner Clinical Services, and Dr. Araro Charles, Director of Curative Services, have arrived in Kasese to assess the situation. Authorities here express the need to have a mobile lab stationed at Ipondwe border as cases of forged COVID-19 results from Congo emerge. Other border points we tried our best to put the laboratory that is doing very good job and now it remains for this border post because of the, 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 the disadvantages. It's right at the border and there is an issue of Ebola outbreak in the neighboring country, DRC, and of course the point where there is outbreak is not very far from the border point where we are. So that calls for really more attention and I pledge to the people that we will look at how best to support, even if we cannot put the mobile lab right now, we will see how best the samples can be transported, analyzed and brought back. In their support supervision tour, the team also visited health workers at Impondo and Kagando hospitals and commended them for the job well done in containing COVID-19. Dr. Joyce Moriko Kaducho said medical workers will be among the first beneficiaries of the COVID-19 vaccine once it arrives in Uganda. Priority will be given for healthcare workers, for security personnel, for teachers, those above 50 years and old, those with comorbidity. So those are the categories of people who will be vaccinated. But immediately after that, another phase, we will vaccinate other categories of people until we reach 60% of population that will be vaccinated in a phased manner. To Dr. Oraro Charles, their visit will have a positive impact to healthcare services in the region. To re relate with the staff and recognize the, the great work which they are doing on the aspect of COVID, but also on the aspect of continuity of essential services. The other aspect also is that you are aware of that there has been an outbreak of EVD in the neighboring country. So we need to be able to start to activate our, our systems to be able to remain vigilant, both for EVD, which is Ebola, and then also for, for COVID. But also, which is the key is that we need to emphasize that we need to continue with the provision of essential services. August 2019 is when Uganda last received an imported case of Ebola virus disease from the Democratic Republic of Congo in Kasese district. Uganda has had four Ebola virus disease outbreaks in 2000, 2014, 2017, and 2018. The biggest and most deadly was in 2000 that registered 425 cases and 224 deaths. Bernard Higa, UBC News, Kasese.